So a lot of uh, new things have come to the browser in the last year. Uh, one of them is called WebRTC, which lets you uh, do live video in the browser, which means companies like uh, Live Ninja that we're going to see right now can do things like uh, uh, provide you video chat support, and uh, among other things. And we're going to talk about uh, video in the browser right now. Hi, my name is Will Wanrob. I'm the CEO and co-founder of a company called Live Ninja. Uh, Live Ninja is a video chat marketplace. It allows you to talk with experts on different topics like doctors, lawyers, therapists, and fitness instructors. And we also have a brand new product called Katana, which allows you to video chat with a customer support rep or anybody on anybody's website. Very cool. Um, so I, I laid it out that the browser is changing. They've added uh, this new thing called WebRTC. What, what is that? And, and why do you need that? <laughs> sure, sure. I mean, when we think of like, you know, consumer video chat applications, you know, you usually think of like Skype and GoToMeeting and FaceTime. These are all native or operating system level applications. And you really had to have that kind of infrastructure in place to do video chat before. Or if you wanted to do it in the browser, you had to rely on Flash, which we know is outdated technology that's kind of going out the window. Uh, so recently, uh, WebRTC, which is an open source project by Google, uh, is allowing for peer-to-peer -peer video chat to happen inside the browser very, very seamlessly. And with that, uh, you know, now it's supported in Chrome, it's supported in Firefox, supported in Opera. Uh, support is coming for IE and Safari, but we hope sooner rather than later. But a lot of interesting opportunities are presenting themselves now in the video chat space because of this new emerging technology. And we, we saw Amazon already announce a similar feature for its customers, right? Right, um, Amazon Mayday. Yeah. Yep. And what what does your system do, and how does a business like my uh, brother has a bar? Maybe he wants to have video chat support. Sure. But I doubt it's my brother. But we use uh, chat on at Rackspace to support our customers. Mm -hmm. How would we use it? Right. So Amazon Mayday has kind of been this big proponent for video chat customer support because Amazon's spending a ton of money on advertising this feature. Jeff Bezos has been quoted to say that Amazon Mayday is the greatest feature that Amazon has ever built. Those are pretty powerful words coming from one of the greatest entrepreneurs of our time. Um, the problem with Amazon Mayday is that only Amazon can really utilize it. Uh, you know, they're not selling it to other people or letting other people you know, have it on their own website, but you see lots of big companies Fortune 500 companies, even small to medium businesses say, hey, I think this is the future of you know, e-commerce basically. Uh, I want this on my website as well. You know, but Amazon wasn't providing that, so we're kind of filling that gap and we're allowing for very similar features to Amazon Mayday for any site that wants it. Now, it's very specific. It's not for everyone. Uh, this is for something where you know, maybe the uh, the product is a little bit more complex, so like maybe insurance, financial services. Can you pull legal. up the video so uh, yeah, sure. we can play that while we're talking about it? Absolutely. Yeah. Here, yeah. This is an example of, uh, here you go, this is an example of it uh, being played. Right, and exactly. Turn off the audio on that. Yeah. Cool. So uh, th this is an uh, example of what it looks like on a site. Right, right. So you know, basically it's a JavaScript snippet that you can copy and paste on your site. You have this on the right side, you see a click to video chat button. Here is a you know, fake website. Country Farm, kind of spoofing on State Farm here. Usually you go in this big questionnaire that it's hard to fill out, but instead you just click this video chat button on the site and boom, you're automatically video chatting with the representative. Now insurance is the primary use case because uh, that's a very, very complex product. You're asking people to fill out a 40 question form. The conversion rate to get through the end of that form is absolutely terrible. And then if anybody gets to the end of that form, they're greeted with terms like replacement costs, personal injury protection, term life versus whole life insurance, et cetera. And they're like, oh, forget about it. I might as well just call the 1-800 you know, the, the number or go and talk to a rep. This basically takes away all that complexity. And instead of having an asynchronous, lonely transaction, you're actually meeting face-to-face -face with a representative. And the studies have shown that when you're talking about brand loyalty, that face-to-face -face interaction is absolutely critical. And e-commerce for so long has existed as this asynchronous experience where it's kind of lonely, we're shopping for a book, you know, we're going through different you know, directories, find the product we want, it gets shipped to us. But it doesn't work for all industries, you know, for insurance, for legal, for medical, for consultants, right? These are people where 
the products aren't necessarily tangible. I can't get the product and hold it in my hand. It's knowledge-based products. You know, these are things that they're hard to quantify. Um, so when we think of the future of e-commerce, we think it's very much like real life commerce. When we walk into a store or an office, someone is there to greet us to make sure that we get the right product or service that best fit our I get needs. It. I, I, how much would a company have to pay to get this built into their website? It's actually, it's very, very affordable. If you're just like an individual private practice lawyer, or you want to put this on your website, small startup, it's very cheap, just a couple hundred bucks a month. Uh, but if you are, you know, an enterprise or Fortune 500 company where you have thousands of people in your call center, you know, we have different pricing structures there. Okay. And what do I have to do to my website to get this to work? Again, all you really have to do is, again, on the, the front end, paste this JavaScript snippet, the button comes up, you tell us how you want the button to look. On the back end, you log in and you basically hit available, like you would like a Skype status or something like that. And if you're available, Somebody hits that button, it'll ring on your side and you'll be able to pick it up. Does it route the call automatically? So if I have 50 people answering phone calls right now or video calls, yep. um, it'll get routed to Absolutely. That. We have you know all the different kind of like round robin style. We have Blast where it could ping all agents at once or it could ping one person at a time. You specify your preference and then we route it in that way. Cool. Um, so that seems pretty pretty straightforward. What's, uh, what's the, what's, uh, what else are you doing with this kind of Sure, technology? well one of the interesting things is we've partnered with uh, Techstars New York company called Immersive. Um, and if you want to run the video, I could kind of show you through that, uh, you know, what's going on. And basically what Immersive does is a motion recognition and facial coding. See, here you see on the video how it detects where the eyes are, where the mouth is and all that. But what's interesting about it is it could detect human emotion. So here we go, we could see neutral, smile, so this is a happy emotion. This is a negative emotion, just based on the eyebrows and the eyes, surprised emotion, sad emotions, etc. Now, why is this important? Uh, you know, you, you call a 1-800 number and you always hear, this call will be recorded for quality assurance purposes. And the reason for that is, so a sales manager can go through audio file by audio file by audio file and hear exactly what happened, make sure that quality assurance is, is proper across the organization, but you're losing thousands of man hours and millions of dollars in bottom line revenue by doing this ineffective uh, method and they're missing out on 90% of the actual picture because all they're hearing is a voice like you could say something and I could be dissatisfied and I can just go oh, and you wouldn't even see that reaction because you'd just be hearing the audio but in this case we actually provide the full picture we could say this is the happiest point of the call this is the, the most you know that where the customer had the most negative part of the call the most negative reaction and we can tell sales managers right off the bat all of the analytics from a top-down perspective. So we could say, this is the, the agent that con continually makes customers the happiest. This is the agent that continually makes you know, customers the most sad or surprised. So they can effectively uh, gauge what's going on across their company. And not only that, but we provide automatic analytics that, okay, you know, 40% of your calls this week was from a male that's 28 to 35. This was their attention span. This was the average emotion. Very, very powerful from an analytics perspective and very valuable for these organizations. Yeah. So here you, yeah, exactly. I mean, here you see a, a call. The green lines represent the smiles of this katana call. That's the, her happy points. So the green lines were the happiest points of the call. The red lines are the most negative parts of the call. So if I'm a sales manager, just click on that red line, see exactly what that sales rep said to make that customer you know, feel negative, and that really affects my organization. I can call in, hey Jim, let's see what happened here. Let's make sure this never happens again. But then also, wh where did you succeed, Jim? You made her really happy here and here. Maybe we should train the other agents to say things like this as well. So very, very powerful across the whole organization. Could save you know companies potentially millions of dollars. Very cool. And how do they get? How do people get, or uh, companies get this built into their system? Right. So we partnered with with Immersive. Uh, you basically, if you're a Katana client, this is an upgrade. If you want to have this for your customers, you tell us, and then we build it into the Katana technology. Um, and it's basically an upgraded feature. You know, we tell the, the customer that you know this call will be recorded for quality assurance purposes, much like a one eight hundred number. Yeah. And then we provide all that data to the company. Does this work with mobile devices at all, or do I have to wait till uh, uh, Safari supports? So the, the great thing about WebRTC is it already works on Android devices right out of the box. So any browser on Android, it's already going to work. Uh, on iOS, we know Apple has kind of like a walled garden there. You have to have a native application. So if a client comes to us and say, hey, I want this in my app, then we just put it in their app. It basically becomes an option inside the app, talk to one of our agents, and then we pop up with the video chat. But on Android, you don't even have to download anything. It works seamlessly. Really, really beautiful tech. 
but if you want this on iOS, it has to be a native app. Well, it's going to be interesting to see other, other companies use WebRTC video for other things as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Um, where do I learn more uh, about your company? Sure, you can check us out at LiveNinja.com to see the, the expert marketplace. Uh, yeah. But if you want to learn more about Katana, it's Katana.co.co. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it. Thank you.